Hey everybody, back with another review. And uh, before I get to it, I want to take some time out to thank all the people that have subscribed to me. And uh, I'm just checking today, I've got like about 127, 128 subscribers. So uh, it's really nice to see that uh, you guys have uh, taken some time out of your lives to watch my videos and hopefully you guys like them. Uh, so thank you very much guys for uh, uh, subscribing and uh, I've only been on YouTube for about two and a half months now so I'm really flattered to see that you guys are uh, responding to the to, to reviews and the videos and stuff. And let me know if you have any questions about uh, any figures that you want me to do in the future and uh, you guys can you know ask me anything you want. So And uh, alright well let's go ahead and uh, get to the review. And so today we're looking at uh, Generation One Jazz, and uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, actually Encore Jazz today. Uh, the reason I'm going to be doing that is because um, I do have uh, the Generation One Jazz, but I don't have access to it. And let me let me show you what I mean by that. So here is G1 Jazz, but as you guys can see, there's a lot of plastic <laughs> that's separating me from him and uh, this is a AFA uh, certified uh, clear box I, I didn't and you guys probably know what this is I mean uh, I, I, never, I didn't send this in or anything I, I would never do that I wouldn't send a figure in to get certified or anything but I did find him uh, four and a half five years ago on eBay uh, he was going for like 345 buy it now and it's mint and it was already graded and in their box and everything so I picked them up uh, it says AFA, uh, Action Figure Authority. That's the uh, company you send these uh, your figures into. And there's four or five different categories. They grade it for you. And, and they send it back in this clear, sealed up uh, plastic uh, box, which is like UV protected and all that too. So it's kind of cool. Got the little seal there. And it says uh, 1984 Hasbro Transformers Series 1 car, Jazz. And it's, it says no re uh, rub sign. So that means it, it was a, it a pre-rub too. Uh, this figure and the box is in really good good condition I mean um, they gave the box 80 90 and 90 box is 80 uh, window is 90 figure is 90 so they graded it pretty well too and uh, really happy to have this uh, this one and it's sealed actually I don't know if you guys can see that um, so it's never been opened uh, a figure from 1980s 1984 figure uh, very rare, very hard to find it in this condition. So it's one of, I would, I don't think I'll ever get rid of him. So that's why I can't, I can't, I'm not going to open this plastic, guys. So that's why I don't have access to them. So just want to show you guys that. And I also picked up uh, uh, when the Toys R Us reissue came out. I picked them up at Toys R Us. Uh, you guys can see. Cool. Uh, Nice, nice box. I like the way Toys R Us reissued toys. They did the boxes and everything. And uh, this is kind of cool too. I like it. This is the Dreamwave comic uh, design back here. And so I picked up the reissue as well. And I also got, and the reason I got the Encore was that uh, I saw that they had made some modifications to the actual figure. Uh, which I'm going to show you guys when I take them out. So, all right. So let's uh, let's get them out of the box. Before I get to the figure, um, I want to mention uh, that I'm really digging what uh, Takara Tommy has done with their packaging for the uh, Encore uh, line. They've given it the uh, the flap on the top, uh, really G1 esque, and they've given it the uh, you know got some artwork in the back and everything. I'm really liking what they've done, and the best thing I, I like what they've done with their packaging is uh, now you can have the ability to kind of store them uh, away really well. Uh, you got this piece of plastic that comes off, and there's another piece that secures it even further, and then you can put them really neatly and well. And uh, I wish uh, Hasbro can take away from from this and kind of you know learn a little bit how to how to actually package something really well. And for a collector, that's that's really important to, to keep their figures secure. And and Takara Tommy's, fine, you know, he, they're they're getting it, man. They're getting it how to do it. So I'm really impressed with that. And uh, 
he comes with the instructions and you got the the cards that they usually have uh, the Japanese versions of Transformers almost all of them have come with their little cards have their numbers on them away and uh, you have the missiles uh, two of the missile on the tree I took one out uh, and you got his missile launcher his back piece and you got the the gun and let's take a look at Jazz well in Japan he's not really called Jazz I'm sure you guys know that uh, he's called Meister and even the sticker is Agent Meister Agent Meister Meister and one cool thing about this one is that uh, these decals here are actually painted on they're not stickers and the previous ones all the Jazz before they were all stickers and that that means that the uh, the figure will last longer the stickers will last and longevity wise that's really good and um, obviously you know Jazz is a Porsche 935 Martini that's the alt mode uh, really cool looking Porsche uh, you got stickers on the side too and one thing they have also fixed on the Encore is, the, is this here the back of the roof has these two pieces of plastic now and now what you can do is secure his roof on the back because before before what happened is uh, these plastics weren't there so plastic pieces so what will happen is you put it put it like so and the, the roof would just go down and it wouldn't be flush now what happens is if you put them down it, it's actually really flush let me just do that right for you guys and you can press on it it won't go any further down so they fixed that problem and I'm really happy about that too so and uh, you know let's see if uh, we can go ahead and transform this guy for you first thing you want to do is you open the doors and then and what I like to do actually I just like to flip the, flip the back part piece back like so and then you just turn him around and you have the hands and the arms very similar to prowl blue streak and smoke screen so you're gonna unclip those bring them out like so you can already see his head <laughs> and then one thing that is uh, a little different than the other prowl and stuff is this piece here this chrome piece actually folds out a little differently it comes out to the front like so and it secured itself back here if you can see it and now you're gonna bring the the front hood which becomes its chest up like so and you're gonna secure it right there it, it doesn't clip in but it secures itself really well and then and that that part of the transformation is different than the than prowl and smoke screen and uh, blue streak so you're gonna flip the uh, legs out front put these pieces up and you're gonna open to reveal the legs and feet and you're gonna bring the arms down there is well, I'll, I'll tell you that in a second and then what you want to do is the head you're gonna push this piece back first and then you're gonna bring it down which will reveal the head and let me go ahead and put on the here's this photon gun and you got let's go ahead and put on the missiles too the missile and the launcher and this actually clip, clips back if you guys can see that right there so Encore Jazz he's pretty much exact as Generation 1 except uh, one modification that they have made in robot mode and uh, and I'm really liking it too is his head head mold is totally different let's see if you guys can see that the visor and everything that looks sharp so uh, remolded head on on the uh, on the Encore Jazz so the head is different now and then the this part of the back of the roof is different and if I was gonna get one obviously you guys wanna pick up you know generation one jazz uh, that would be my first priority uh, if somehow you can't get a hold of a good one or, or, or a decent shape um, I would skip on the reissue I would pick up encore if you're not gonna pick up generation one 